Walter, Skyler, Jesse, and Gus are all characters in what show? It's a great question. Um, Cinderella. They made a show out of Cinderella? All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for today's Dumbass Contest. And today's Dumbass Contest is the D-U-I-Q. Yeah. All right, Seabass, why don't you explain the way the game works to everybody, please? I will, because it's easy. All you do is you listen to me talk to a drunk person. You guess whether the questions I'm asking the drunk person, whether that drunk person can get them right two times out of three. So, again, you're not answering the questions. You're guessing Correct. whether the drunk person can answer these questions. And if you guess right, like I said, two times out of three, you win. All right. 877-44-WOODY is the number. And let's say hello to our contestant. Let's say hello to Steven. Hey, good morning, Steven. How are Steven. you? Hey, good morning. What is show? How y'all doing? We're, doing? we're doing great. All right. So, uh, again, That's you're awesome. just guessing on the, uh, right. on the drunk here. And then we're also, just for funsies, guessing if uh, Menace and Sammy will get the answer right. Heck yeah. And uh, tell us okay. all about this drunk person here, Seabass. Well, this is Katie, and it's her birthday. So what do you do when it's your birthday, Greg? You get annihilated. And you also dress up and wear a sash. Right. Duh. <laughs> so that way people will buy you free drinks. <laughs> yes. Of course. Thank you. So Katie's going to tell us all about that. All right. So just use this as a gauge of just how drunk or not with it she is. All right? As we get into the uh, clips here, Stephen, here we go. I see you're wearing a lovely outfit and a sash. What's on your sash? Birthday princess. And what birthday number is this for you, Katie? 22. How are you celebrating? Drunk. Free. All people are buying you drinks? Yes. Hey, would you know what they're giving you? Sex on the beach. Delicious. What are the ingredients of a sex on the beach? Grenadine, alcohol, and orange juice. Sweet. Your birthday? Yes. <laughs> Wow, okay. Nice. <laughs> well, she sounds like she's having a great time. She's a woman of few words. I forgot, yeah. is alcohol rum or is it vodka? I believe it's rum. Oh. That's, that's, that's rum. a tropical drink. Yeah. All right, well, uh, that is Katie. And so there you go, Steven. Question number one coming at you. Uh, you guys ready over All there? Ready. Yes. Ready. Oh. All right, DYQ, here we go. The Battle of Normandy occurred in what country? All right, Battle of Normandy. While they're uh, mulling that over, it's actually vodka. Cranberry, really? orange, vodka, and peach schnapps. Mm. You can judge it up with uh, mm. grenadine, but I guess. So yeah, you nice. always add grenadine. So mm. it's good. Well, they don't always know. All flare. right, so just in case uh, you already forgot, Menace. The Battle of Normandy occurred in what country? All right, will all these folks know it? So I'm going to say no for Katie. Right, that's a safe mm -hmm. bet. Uh, ooh. Mm. Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to say Sammy looks... Oddly confident on this one. I'm going to say that she does know. There's a reason why she might be confident, but I'll, I'll tell you later. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll say yes for Sammy, yes for Menace. Sweep it. Well, no. No for Katie, but no right. or yes for Sammy and Menace. What do you think, Greg? Um. Well, I think this is probably the easiest question we've ever had, <laughs> but I'm also... Mm. Okay. Katie, no. Confident with that. Sammy, No. Menace, I'm going to say yes. Huh. All right. All right. Uh, Morgan, what do you think? I think I'm going to get crazy. I'm going triple yes. Get nuts. Yeah. Wow, why Morgan. Not? Friday. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? You are a lunatic. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. I'm not even confident in my answer. But <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Never mind. All right. Uh, <laughs> Sammy and Menace, do you think that Katie will get it? Yes or no? No. No. All right. Uh, Steven, what do you think? Uh, I think Katie's going to get it wrong. You think Katie's going to get it wrong. All right. Uh, question number one here of the DUIQ. The Battle of Normandy occurred in what country? All right, Sammy. Japan. Japan. Oh, I was wrong on that. Oh. Menace. Ooh. I know that's not right, but I put Germany. Germany. Oh. They were involved. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were involved. This, by be, the way, this is a repeater from about two months ago. That'd be France. Yeah. France. Yeah. Yeah. France. Yeah, like, there's no beaches in Germany, right? Is it because of all the Olympic stuff? Well, it was D Day Sammy recently. Was like, like, there was yeah. a big, big deal. But Sammy with... in particular, she was so into the. I figured maybe they would do like all this kind of stuff about France. And... Uh, I don't know if they did any swimming no. over it. Yeah. <laughs> well, They're... no, not... no, because it was a repeater. I figured, oh, maybe she retained some knowledge. But... Yeah, yeah, I typically remember the repeaters, but I didn't remember this one. Yeah. I mean, also, you know, uh, being like a, a patriotic historical person who would remember, well, like, I know, remember the people who died that day. Maybe. Storming the beaches. Right. Of I knew the beaches of Normandy. Right. Yeah. If you said, what is it? I'd say beach. Yeah, there was something about <laughs> Like D Day and whatever, but uh, yeah, talk, people talk, died for your freedom. Yeah. But just talking about like what percentage of the sand there is still like uh, shrapnel, like from um, oh, wow, from all the ammo and stuff. 
That's still I'm sure. It's yeah, like high. if you took a sample of the mm-hmm. uh, of the sand soil, whatever, from the beach, wow, it's still like like two or three percent, which is I mean, considering how long ago that was. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, that still like uh, shows up that strong. Yeah, nuts. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if Katie knows. Let's get you on the board here, Stephen. Question number one for the DUIQ. The Battle of Normandy occurred in what country? In what country? Right. Okay. Nor. I'm but I don't know the rest of the word. Norwegia. <laughs> what? <laughs> and what else do you know about Norwegia? <laughs> They're white people. Norwegia. In Norwegia. Norwegia. Yeah. White people. In Nor- All right. <laughs> in Nor. I don't know the rest of the word. Anyway, yeah. just All right. out. Steven, you're on the board. <laughs> oh, that was rough. <laughs> okay, question number two for the DUIQ. Walter, Skyler, Jesse, and Gus are all characters in what show? Ooh, uh, let's see. Hmm. No for Katie. Oh, you don't think so? Nope. Uh, no for Katie. No for Menace. Uh, I, he used to be a fan of this show, I thought. Maybe back in the 80s. Wait, can you play it again? I didn't hear all the names. That was a... That was a really raw thing to do there, yeah, Seabass. Yeah, okay, no okay. clues. I'm yeah. sorry. I'll, I'm Everybody. sorry. Shh. I'll no, it's not even a clue because it was. Nah, that's, yeah. ah! it's not a clue. Ah! Well, why are you trying to confuse people? Because it's not from the 80s. Yeah, you're, you're intentionally trying to confuse them. That's the joke. No, no that's not, not. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think that's fair. If you're intentionally trying to confuse them. That's also the joke. Okay. Yeah. Walter, Skyler, Jesse, and Gus are all characters in what show? I'm going to... Can I? I'll just go. Sure. Triple no. Triple no. Uh, what do you think there, Morgan? Triple no. Triple no. Yeah. What the hell? Let's go triple no on this one. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Medicine Sammy. What do you think? You think that? Uh, you think Katie's gonna get this one? No. No. All right, Stephen. What do you think? I'm going with the triple no also. Another triple right. no yeah. for question number two. Walter, Skyler, Jesse, and Gus are all characters in what show? Sammy. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Menace. Oh, oh I put the OC. The OC. <laughs> well, Sammy is right. <laughs> I thought you watched the yeah. OC, Menace. I did, but I'm not paying attention to the dudes. High five, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, Skylar. Skylar's the wife yeah. of Walter. Skylar sounds like a it is a, it's, well, it's a OC non- name. It's a nonsense name, that's for sure. Yeah. Based on the history of this segment, do you really need to like throw them off? It's fun. <laughs> Good yeah. point. Right? I it's see your point. It's fun to add boy. confusion yeah. to these idiots. Is it? Yes. All right. <laughs> Question number two. D U I Q. Walter, Skyler, Jesse, and Gus are all characters in what show? It's a great question. Um, Cinderella. <laughs> they made a show out of Cinderella? There's a Gus rat. Oh, oh yeah. I know that. The fat one is Gus, I think. Gus, I, you know what? I think that is true. Yeah. Wow. Would an acceptable answer have been greatest show of all time, past, present, and future? <laughs> Parentheses. <laughs> yeah. Parentheses. Well, Steven, rules. congratulations. Nice. You are a winner here on the DUIQ. I still need to watch awesome. It. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Hey, and thank you for listening to The Woody Show, man. Have yourself a great weekend Thanks, and hang Steven. on so we can get all your information, okay? Yeah, have a good weekend also. Thanks. Thanks. Too. There you go. There is uh, there is Steven. Gus Rat. He wears that yellow shirt that's a belly shirt because he's so fat. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, see? Yeah. And then a little green cap. Poor Rat. That's yeah. Gus. Well, he didn't need three questions in order to win this contest, but we do have a third question here for the DUIQ. Give me an example of a pachyderm. A pachyderm. Triple no. Yep. Locked in. <laughs> nope. Triple no? Yeah. And see, Morgan doesn't even have the advantage of looking at Sammy's blank face. Yeah, right. true. It's a no. Which is quite blank at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, man. Katie, no. Sammy, no. Because I can see the face. <laughs> uh, Menace, I have a feeling he'll... Never mind. Yeah. He's now rubbing his eyes. <laughs> rubbing his eyes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Triple, Tired, man. Yeah. triple no. Never <laughs> mind. Did you say triple no also? Yeah, triple no. Yeah. Right, 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 right away. Men- Menace and Sammy, what do you think about Katie? You think she'll get it? No. All right, Uh, question number three, (laughs) DUIQ. Give me an example of a pachyderm. All right, Sammy. An aardvark? An aardvark. Oh, that might be right. That might be right. Uh, Menace. I put a possum. A possum. That's not right. That is not right. Classically, you're thinking Elephant? elephants and yeah. rhinos and hippos. Hippo, right? Let me see. And by the way, when I was looking this up just for funsies, apparently a pachyderm is no longer. It's not a uh, an official correct zoological classification because. Mm. Just having thick skin doesn't make you necessarily a member of a certain family Thank of animals. You. And so, pachyderm, would you say aardvark? Yeah. yeah. Is an aardvark a pachyderm? 
It might be. Yes, the aardvark is considered thank a Thank you. Yep, thank wow. you. High five. Sammy, nice. Well what, done. Did, was that just a wild guess, honestly? No, I think it was in there. Somehow I knew that. Because it has thick. Yeah. Because that was the first thing I thought of was aardvark. I don't know why. That's gotta be, you yes. got to be like one of the only people that would be their first guess. Like, again, elephant would be. But it makes sense. It has thick skin. This is very much a, uh, what's that, the Indian version of who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah. Right. That was slum- oh, yes. Like her mind went blank, but then like, something in the back of her brain. Yeah. No, it didn't go blank. I thought Aardvark. Maybe it's because I was a big fan of Arthur growing up. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Could be That's it. Probably. It was yeah. in her brain yeah. chamber. All that matters is she got her first question right in like three weeks. So no, I got she, Breaking she Bad. Got, she got Breaking yeah. Bad. I just right, got too. the question before this right. Yeah, oh. she got two out of three See, this week. Right. Steve Bass in his old age. I was just testing you. I think you owe her an apology. You know what? Clearly the Rogaine's getting in your brain. Yeah. I, well, obviously, I don't use Rogaine. Don't need to. But oh. Sammy, I apologize for forgetting Hymns, about Breaking whatever Bad. It is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it. I would say I'd buy her breakfast, but she doesn't eat. All right, question number three, DUIQ. Give me an example of a pachyderm. So derm is skin. A pachyderm, is that a blade? Oh. So you got a, it's a box cutter a, for your sled. What? What? Wait, she was almost there. Skin. She made a good point with the derm. The, right. the, the, yeah. I thought she was on track and then whatever, but like box cutter. Oh, pack it like packing tape? Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, That's what does that have weird. to do with skin? Like you're packing derms, so you're cutting yeah. it. Yeah, all right, it cool. It cuts the skin. Uh, well, that's the DUIQ, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Another interesting round. Congratulations to our contestant, Steven. We're going to take a quick break. More Friday Woody Show is next. Hang on. 